What's good guys, it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you how to identify whether you have fine low density hair strands, how to care for your hair strands if it is fine and low density and also how you can possibly thicken your hair strands. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so in today's video, we are going to be talking about how to care for fine low density hair and as mentioned in last week's video I myself have low hair density and fine hair strands and I am going to be sharing with you how I am caring for my fine low density hair and you can definitely go ahead and you know take some bits and bobs and try and apply it to your yourself if you have low fine density hair and um, see how it works for you so when it comes to caring for fine low density hair you have to be extremely gentle. The reason why you have to be very gentle is because obviously fine hair strands are much thinner in comparison to someone who have thick hair strands, right? So your hair is a little bit more fragile. It's much, much more fragile, shall I say, because your hair cannot take um, the, certain pressures that other thicker hair strands can. So you have to be very gentle, especially when washing and detangling your hair. Now, speaking from experience, you know, someone like me who have, you know, been trying to increase my hair density, and all of these different things. I have been watching so many different content creators whose hair's profile is so different to mine and I try to apply that to my hair and then I found out that, hold on a moment, my hair is breaking all the time and it is literally driving me crazy. And it's like, what is going on? I'm doing everything, why am I seeing so much hair coming out, etc. And I was like, okay, I can't be doing all of the this that everyone's doing, like detangling your hair all the time, touching your hair, because your hair is so fragile, it is so fine, it will snap so easily. So you wanna be very gentle, especially when detangling, you wanna make sure you soak it with a lot of water. I have a video on my channel where I shared with you how to detangle your hair, and you will see the difference in how much hair I was able to save in a sense when I detangled my hair wet versus dry. Definitely check this video out. So with all that said, you want to be very, very gentle with your hair strands because once again, your hair strands are already fine, which means they are extremely fragile. So another thing we can do to care for our fine low density hair strand is putting our hair in a long-term protective hairstyle, which in turn assist with low manipulation. So as mentioned, because our hair strands are so fine already, we don't want to be touching it very often because it will break, it will snap. It is not as strong as, you know, um, someone with thicker, dense, um, thicker hair strands, should I say. So what you want to do is minimize the manipulation and by putting your hair in a long-term protective style, like for example, I am currently rocking um, some would you call it braids and um, my hair is a little bit messy right now so it's covered <laughs> so um, you know I have it in braids because I was thinking to myself listen this is just too much and this all stemmed from you know just washing my hair and just seeing like just a lot of foolishness happening as, as well as um, I was just dealing with some scalp issues i was like what the heck's going on my scalp haven't behaved like this in a while so what's going on but also prior to that when i was washing my hair i was seeing that my hair was breaking all the time and i was like this makes no sense to me and i kind of just got fed up and i was like i'm gonna put my hair away and just see what happens because i just didn't understand what was going on and it was because i was detangling my hair all the time you know when i'm doing my moisturizing routine and i wash my hair weekly and i'm like yeah i know people say that you're supposed to lose about 100 hair strands a day but I'm like what's going on here like this seems more than 100 hair strands per day so putting your hair in a low um, sorry a long-term 
protective style will assist with low manipulation because you're not touching your hair all the time you're not combing through your hair all the time i mean yeah you can touch your hair but you're not combing through it which is causing the hair to break etc so that's another thing you can do to protect and care for your fine hair strands so when you're about to install your long-term protective style what you want to make sure you are not doing in order to care for your hair is not install your protective style too tight because once again your hair strand is very fragile it is very fine and it is easy to break so imagine putting all that pressure on that fine hair strand by braiding your hair too tight or installing two strand twists which I, you don't really install that very tightly but you know braids or cane rolls etc those things can be quite tight and it can cause your hair to break so you want to make sure that you are not doing anything too tight because it will have a negative impact on your already fine fragile hair strand another thing to consider when caring for fine low density hair is keeping your hair strands as well as your scalp moisturized and nourished and also consider doing protein treatments now this is going to be very important for those who have fine hair strands because protein treatment help to keep the hair strand strong now as you know our hair strands are made of keratin so keratin which is also a protein which i did a video on that i'll link it right here for you to check out you definitely want to make sure that your hair strands are strong yes they're fine and they're not as strong as someone with thicker hair strands but if you can um, protect the integrity of the hair strand then that will help you to you know care for your hair so your hair is not breaking all the time which is also why the moisturizing is extremely important as well as the nourishing of the scalp because you also want to have a perfect protein moisture balance because if your hair is too stiff i.e too much protein it can break and also if your hair is not moisturized it also can break so by having that perfect protein and moisture balance your hair strands will be nice and elasticated and it can stretch bounce back and not break so it's extremely important that you are moisturizing your hair strands to help keep it nice and perfect now this next tip i'm going to suggest is something we've heard many 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 natural hair content creators say and i have also touched on this in one of my previous videos uh, but i'll you know reiterate in this video sleeping on a satin pillowcase or silk pillowcase or using a silk scarf or bonnet to protect your hair at night and that is more so what i would suggest wearing it for is to protect it from you know moisture loss you know so wearing um the satin bonnet scarf or sleeping on a satin pillowcase will help you to retain the moisture in your hair because yes it is very true that cotton does suck out the moisture out of your hair i spoke about my experience with it um especially with my daughter i literally had washed her hair moisturized her hair and everything she fell asleep whilst i was combing her hair so i laid her down on the side that i didn't comb yet but it was already moisturized and when she woke up it was literally like as if i didn't do anything to her hair strands so you want to use satin to help with the moisture retention and also you know it will minimize you know your hair snagging on the pillowcase or you know the other material that you're using to cover your hair etc so yes it is very important for you to keep your hair covered using satin um, satin bonnet scarf or a pillowcase and the final thing i would like to suggest in regards to caring for our fine low density hair is being patient with getting our hair to wherever we're trying to get it to so if you think about it like you know because our hair is so fine and so fragile like if you're on a hair growth journey it's going to be so much more harder for you to get to a certain length in comparison to someone who have thick you know hair strands and a thicker hair density because our hair breaks so easily and if we don't know how to care for it 
we're not going to get to the level that we want to. So I highly recommend all of these things that I've suggested in today's video to help you care for your hair as well as I'm doing it for myself to help me get to the level I need to because fine, fragile hair breaks much easier than any other hair type. Okay guys, so that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did, then please be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. So until next week Sunday at 5 p.m. We will be right back here with the final part of today's video.